So for this one, I will be showing you guys how to add more PlayStation 1 ISO games to Auto Bleem. So I've already done this with Bleem Sync. Um, if you want to see the Bleem Sync version, there's a video for that on my channel. But in this video, we're going to be doing the Auto Bleem version. So all you need is a USB with Auto Bleem installed. If you do not have Auto Bleem, make sure to go and do that first. I will have a link that will show you guys how to do that in the description. But anyway, just go and get your USB, go and connect this into your computer, and I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay guys, so over on your computer, you must have AutoBleam installed on your USB. If you do not have it installed, I will leave a link that will show you guys how to do that in the description. It's just a link to this video, it's very simple, and it only takes around 8 minutes to install it. Next, you will need to have your PlayStation 1 games in the bin or queue or ISO format. So I will have a video that shows you how to change them into the bin and queue ISO format. This also works with PBP PlayStation 1 games, but I'll leave a link to this in the description. So once you've got your games, you want to go to downloads folder and find your games. So as you can see these are all of mine. I've got Chrono Cross. This one is actually a multiple disc game. So as you can see there is two sets of bin and queue files. We've got disc 1 and disc 2. That will work perfectly fine. I've also got Digimon that's already on there. Um, Nightmare Creatures 2 and I've got Spyro the Dragon on here as well. So what I'm going to do is copy across Nightmare Creatures 2 for this video. Your PlayStation 1 games must be in this kind of format. So what I'm going to do make sure my Sony USB is plugged in. As you can see it's right here. I'm We'll simply get our game and drag and drop it into the games folder. This is a lot more simple than the Bleem Sync tutorial. Auto Bleem is just a lot easier. It's going to set us up. It's going to set everything up for us, even the cover and stuff like that. So yeah, we've just got to wait 600 megabytes. So while that is copying across, if you go into your Sony USB and go in the games folder, Digimon is one I've already added and set up. Before, it was just a bin and queue file, and as you can see, it's added license, a PNG file, a game.ini file, and a CFG file. So as you can see, this um, PNG file should actually be the cover up, so it will automatically add it for you. It's very cool. It's actually really nice um, if this actually loads up. But yeah, it pretty much just adds the cover up on there for you, and it's very simple and easy to set up. I don't know what Windows is doing. Oh, there you go. It finally loaded. And yeah, that's it. Really it. So let's just wait for our game to copy across. I will be back on my PlayStation when it's done copying. Okay, so now we're back. The first thing you want to do is just plug in your USB. And then when the USB is plugged in, make sure the power cord isn't plugged in yet. And we can go and plug that in now. And then just make sure it's turned on at the wall and we're just waiting for that orange LED to turn on. As you can see, mine has just turned on. And now what we can do is actually go and power on our console. Okay guys, so once it's turned on, we're going to wait for AutoBleam to scan our USB and hopefully it's going to find our new games that we have added. Now what we can do on AutoBleam, um, it's got some really good options. If you press select, you can actually change quite a few things. I probably mentioned this in my last AutoBleam video, but as you can see, we've got lots of stuff like that on there. So you can just press circle to go back. And now what we're going to do is press start to actually launch into AutoBleam. And um, this should actually display our games straight away. If you wish to display the games which are already on the console, all you have to do is hold select and it will show the games that um, were previously installed on there. But anyway, let's test out some of the games that we imported across. This might take a few seconds to load up, so I'll be back once it's loaded. And there you go guys, that's Digimon World 3 that I already had installed on here. And here is Nightmare Creatures 2. So what we can actually do on these is just press X and they should actually just load up like a normal PlayStation 1 game. So I don't know if they take longer to load, but I've pressed X and yeah, we're just going to wait for it. And there you go guys, here is Nightmare Creatures 2 running perfectly fine just like any PlayStation 1 game would. This game actually looks really cool. I think I've played the first one on Nintendo 64, but I've never had the chance to play it. So let's of course test out some gameplay of um, Nightmare Creatures 2. Let's just make sure it loads perfectly fine and everything like that. What is this, main menu? Let's just load up a new game real quick. So obviously sound works perfectly fine, gameplay is perfectly fine as you can see. Um, let's try and attack this zombie or whatever this is right now. Oh, it's called Kyle of Hell for a zombie. There you go, I think we killed it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you add games onto your PlayStation 1 on AutoBleam from your USB. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.